Hello everybody and welcome once again to another quick tip in my Forever Stranded series. Now today what I want to do is have an in-depth look at the indexer and more specifically the indexer remote which is really a cool item. So let's have a look at this without further ado and here it is. Now I'm not going to show you the, the recipe for this because Mechalos Dean, in his episode 43, I think it was, of his Ever Stranded series, did a really good build on this and showed you how it works. So basically, I can right click the index here and you'll see what's in the network of items which are connected. Now, it's not complete this because what I unfortunately will need to do is to put a transfer node on here. So, for example, if I put, say, um, let's have a look. Let's put some sand in one of these chests over here, for example. One piece of sand in there. For example. And then we have a look at the index again. You'll see the sand is actually being appearing, which it shouldn't really do. Well, maybe it does appear because it's actually connected. As I thought, I had to have the transfer node. And I think you do need the transfer node. Because you can't take items out of the index so if I want to say click this oh, that works fine good if I want to put something back in it back in it again can I do that yes I can but it stays here now, it's staying here because it's not being transferred you can see it but we put that one in there you'll see two so now what you can do is to put a transfer node on top of this like this I should right click it should do and then it appears on here now look at this it's disappeared As you can see, and it should have appeared in this chest here. Actually, it's appeared in here because this is not locked. Let's just lock this up. I want to lock these two up. And then we'll put something in here that we cannot put in. So, for example, this one's locked. This one's locked. This one's locked. This isn't locked yet. So let's put something in here that we know that's not going to be put in. So I've got the remote index remote here. So I right click this, and it's exactly the same interface. Let's put some one arrow in for example oops four let's put two in now we should see those appearing again let's have a look they should appear in the system it takes a few seconds and there you see two arrows now those will have been transferred across to this chest over here fantastic now what you can also do on this because they wouldn't go into these because they're all locked up what else you can do is you can put this item on here the transfer filter like this and you can right click this into there I think you should right click and that puts it into place now in here you can have a filter and here for example I've got a blank filter with nothing in it so now when I put something into the system let's do it again actually well, I'd probably best stand here haven't I and then do it like this and then put another couple of, couple of arrows into the system they will disappear and this time they won't go into that chest they'll go into the next chest along and the delay is basically due to the speed of the system like this so that's the next available inventory but we can speed it up a bit so for example in here i have got six stacks of sandstone and two pieces of sand so on here for example if i put into the transfer node here a stack upgrade now let's just put let's put in some sandstone to start with let's put in one stack and you'll oops wrong let's try again sorry let me just do that correctly right click this one and put in one stack here you'll see these are being taken one at a time well if I come along here now and quickly put this stack upgrade in here and look at that everything's gone let's do it with the next stack here you see it went straight away and if you want the thing system to run faster we just look so put some speed upgrades in like that so now for example we should be able to see here we've now got eight stacks of sandstone and two stack two sand so now if we put come along here and we put sand in for example like this it all went that fast and now we can see 64 sand in here now what happens if we put some sandstone in here another because this is actually if we look at this now carefully this storage drawer is now full stack limit is eight and i've got eight stacks of sandstone in here 
So let's put this sandstone into here. It's gone very quickly. And it will appear in here, as you can see. Now when I look at the indexer here, now I see, I see 75 sand. But I only see 64, sorry, 75 sandstone and 64 sand. And that's because I've got 11 in here. So 11 plus your 64 is 75. So if I now right click it again, this time I see 64 sand. So for each inventory you see a maximum of 64, which is quite neat. Now, the next thing you can do, this filter is, is blank, right? So let's take this filter here and right click this filter. We can put fil items into there. So we could put, say, some string in there, like left click it and put it in there and put an arrow in there like that. But you can also put other filters. So here, for example, I've got some Pam's Harvest Craft filters. So this is 14, so I haven't got any Pam Harvest Craft stuff with me. And this one here is another one of Pam's Harvest Craft. But, but everything together, we can now take this out, put this into this filter here, like this. And you can see what you've got. You've got string. You can see the four different items, including the item filters, which I think is pretty neat. So, now if I put into the system here, I put in the string and the arrows, they should appear in this chest here. If I, for example, put into this chest here some golden boots, and have a look at the system, the golden boots are not appearing, because they're not in the filter. So anything not in the filter, you can't see. But if I take the, fil the golden boots out of here, put them into this chest here, and have another look, this time they do appear. So that's quite nice. But also, it works quite nicely with compacting drawers. So, for example, let's take the let's take this one and put in three ingots of iron. Okay. Now we can see three ingots of iron in the system here. Oops. I think they've gone into the wrong place. They've gone into here. Now, if I put those into the compacting drawer, like this, and then have a look, this time we can see three ingots of iron and 27 nuggets of iron. That's because three times nine is 27. And what's really smart about this, you can say, okay, let's make a bucket, for example. And here's the recipe for a bucket in JEI. I can click that and I can say plus. And it moves the items from here into the in, into the output slots here. If I do that again, it'll then take out and he craft it for me. So then I have a bucket. So you can use that in any way you like. So for example, now if I put these eight blocks of iron in here and then go and have a look at the indexer, control backspace is a good way, You'll see now I've got eight blocks of iron, 64 iron ingots, and 64 iron nuggets. Because I said before, the maximum is 64, whatever you see. So that's how that works. And it's cross interdimensional. So we can go to the nether, um, or any other dimension, and this will still work from there. So it's a really good, cheap way of actually getting this to do things uh, early on in the game. As you can see and upstairs I have got this setup I'm using this setup in the base upstairs let's well, so go the quick way which is over here and what I tend to do is I'm when I go dungeoning using dungeons and things like that you can hear some uh, ghasts they seem to be coming out yes there's one hold on a second I'll just quickly go and sort out that ghast otherwise I might have some problems where are they? Here we go. There's two. Look, one black and one white. Missed. Try again. They're coming through the nether portal. So, if I go downstairs and have a look. This is actually how I use the system. See, I've got the ME system connected to the draw controller here. So everything that I can see in the ME system, I can see in these drawers. That's 
fairly well known. And this is the indexer here, and that's connected again to the storage drawer. So I can take out everything out of the indexer here, but of course these are all these all these chests here are locked, so they won't go into the chest. They'll instead they come into these all these storage drawers. And here I've basically got some food, which I can see through the other indexer because this is that one I've got here. My hand is linked to below, and so on and so forth. I've got weapons and armor and stuff like that. And right down the end here, I've got a free chest. I think it's actually this one where everything else goes into that's overflowing. Now we'll look at this one here. I've got no filter in there. And normally I put everything into this chest at the bottom because these are the things I don't want to be in my ME system because, well, I don't really have that much use for them in the normal everyday stuff. And if I do need some, I can always get it from the indexer uh, and it doesn't block the ME system. So I think that's it i hope you've enjoyed this little quick tip and found out how useful the index it can be so until next time bye for now